Uso daw ang Sando Gaming. Ano yun? What's up, Raiders? Adventure Week is back! Adventure Week makes an earth-shattering return. Trainers, pack your bags and lace up your hiking boots. It's almost Adventure Week. The groundbreaking event returns this year, bigger and better than ever. Keep your eyes peeled for new shiny Pokemon to discover, limited time field research, and rewards for exploring new areas with your buddy Pokemon. Adventure Week starts in the Philippines on June 5 at 5 a.m. and ends on June 12 at 5 a.m. It features Rock-type Pokemon like Geodude, Rhyhorn, Omanyte, Aron, Lilip, Anorith, and many others will appear more frequently in the wild. Hatch Rock-type Pokemon such as Onyx, Larvitar, Lilip, Anorith, and Shieldon from 2K Eggs. Shieldon from 2K Eggs! So better clear up your egg storage. Challenge Onyx, the Rock Snake Pokemon, and other Rock-type Pokemon in raids. You may encounter a shiny Onyx, shiny Lilip, or shiny Anorith if you're lucky. Earn 4 times buddy candy! Now this is where Adventure Sick kicks in. Check out my Adventure Sick tutorial in this video. Visit new poke stops and earn 10 times XP on your first spin of each photo disc. Trainers who have Adventure Sync activated and walk 50 kilometers will earn 50,000 Stardust and rare candies. Specially themed field research tasks will be available for a limited time during this event. So embrace your hiker spirit trainers, you may never know what you and your buddy Pokemon might find. Join us in this adventure before it ends on June 12. Okay, for the Adventure Sync tutorial, here it is. Alright, let's start with our Adventure Sync tutorial. Okay, before we begin, make sure that your phone has the following sensors. Accelerometer, gyroscope, proximity, and compass. Your phone also has to have Google Fit. So if you don't have it, go download it. The next step is log in with your Google account. Once you have logged in, set your physical details like age, height, and weight. There's a trick to this. You have to put your height at 7 feet. Yes, I know it's, it's a hack, but you put your height at 7 feet. Google tracks your movements per step. So I don't know if there's uh, some logic to this. Of course, if you're taller, you have to have bigger steps. Now that's what Google Fit tracks, your steps. Your steps then accumulate into distance. First, I'm going to show you my route around the park, which is roughly around 630 to 700 meters. As you can see, my starting point with the current accumulated distance. Now, I always go around the park with an alternate brisk walk and jog. Here you will see that the Pokemon Go app is active. And after going around the park, I could roughly accumulate 0.72 kilometers. Now, with Adventure Sync, you have to have the Pokemon Go app closed and your phone locked. But with Google Fit running in the background. And now, we're back to our starting point. As you can see, this is our updated distance. Let's try that again, this time with the Pokemon Go app closed. So let's do this again, go around the park, but with the Pokemon Go app closed. Now with the app closed, lock your phone. And finally, this is the most important tip for Adventure Sync. Shake your phone! Yes, that's the trick. Shake your phone. You can hatch your eggs and accumulate distance while sitting down. Yes, even if you're sitting down, lying in bed, or watching TV, you can accumulate distance. But for best results, go out and walk. I still did the brisk walk and jog, but this time while shaking my phone. And when I got back to the starting point, I had already accumulated more than 2.3 kilometers. And we're back again at our starting point. Now you can see we have accumulated 2.94 kilometers just by shaking your phone and taking a, an alternate 
walk and jog around the park. So that's our adventure sync tutorial guide and I hope everyone maximizes adventure week. Okay, hope you got that and get your phone shaking. And as always, stay safe and happy rating!